Welcome back to the John Trading Channel. In this video, I'm going to give you my price targets for Pepe Coin in 2023. Can Pepe Coin go up another 2000% in the market? Find out in this video, so make sure you watch until the end. If you haven't already, leave a like on the video, make sure you're subscribed for future videos, and leave a comment if you're enjoying these daily crypto videos. We're currently on the daily chart for Pepe, and you can see this day only goes back to the 18th of April. Pepe was actually created just a few days before this, so I'm not able to get that lower price. This is the best chart we can currently have, but it's going to be really useful to find multiple price targets for Pepe in 2023. You can see that from this price, price made over a 2,000, 3,000% move to the upside, a basically 30X in less than two weeks. People made an absolute killing on this particular coin as it rocketed to the upside. And right now, it looks like Pepe is setting up for the next massive move. As you can see in this area here, we're actually making a form of a symmetrical triangle. You can see that price is basically converging. And right now, this EMA has begun to go sideways in this price action. But when you get sideways price action after having a massive move to the upside, it usually means we're going to then continue into the direction that we've previously done. If we've been having massive moves to the downside and then we started to move sideways, it would then signal that a downwards move is the most likely. But we had a massive rocket to the upside and now price is consolidating. We're not really going down and we're not really going up. So once we have this sideways consolidation range, this means that the probability is higher in our favor that Pepe coin is going to look for another push to the upside. One of the first targets that we can actually use in the market right now is gaining this base of the symmetrical triangle. You can see the top of the symmetrical triangle starts here and the bottom of the symmetrical triangle starts here. Once we get this box that actually measures that entire price, we bring it over to the apex of the triangle. As I explained in my trading course, the last third of the triangle is where we're going to get the massive breakout. And you can see we're basically right now at this apex of the triangle. The apex of the triangle is where the two lines of the triangle actually Actually meet. So you can see right here is that apex. We're also in this last third of the triangle, which is the highest probability that the move is going to come in this last third of the triangle. And price has been coiling up, coiling up, coiling up. It looks like it's ready to explode and make a massive move. So we can get this base of the triangle and actually bring it over to this apex of the triangle where we get this break up here. And that's actually my first price target for Pepe coin in 2023. I think that this price would only happen in a couple of days. Once we do get a bullish push above this symmetrical triangle, this is gonna be my first target for Pepe. And you can see the price from here is currently 267%. So it's not going to be that massive thousand X gain on this particular trade, but a 250X or a 2.5X on your money is going to be extremely fantastic because I don't think this trade is gonna take multiple weeks, multiple months. Once we get this solid breakout to the upside, this move could basically happen in one or two days. As you can see, these massive bars to the upside back here, look how many big big moves to the upside. We only had really short-term moves to the downside, then followed again by continuous moves to the upside. So this move, going that 260% is going to be my first target. And I do think it's only going to take a couple of days once we get this confirmation above this symmetrical triangle. The reason that I think this level is going to have at least a small amount of resistance is because it's basically at the old all-time high for Pepe coin. So this is going to act as a resistance, firstly, because there are actually people that bought in this level right here and are still holding to this day. Now, once price finally is able to come back to their break even point, a lot of traders are going to get out of their trade saying, thank you, at least I could get out break even on this particular trade. And what needs to happen when you've bought in the market? How do you get out of your position? Well, you need to sell in the market. And we've also got a second strategy. If you backtest using this one-to-one -one symmetrical triangle apex move, where you get this one-to-one -one move there, it's going to show you that a very high probability area to at least have a short-term stall is going to be this one-to-one -one move. So we've got multiple different levels, multiple different traders using completely different strategies, all looking to potentially get out of their trade in the same price. So you can see right up here, I do expect at least a short amount of downturn before we then rock it up and look for our target two for Pepe coin. So how I find my next price target for Pepe coin is I use the trend-based Fibonacci extension tool and I bring it down to this base up here and then I extend it up all the way to the all-time high and then bring it down to this level through here which is the retracement level and I'm trying to look and what this actually lines up with you can see that we get this one-to-one -one move right in this area here but the level that I'm looking at is actually this 1618 to 175 level but 
It also shows that this target one is perfectly lining up with another high grade mathematical tool using the trend based Fibonacci extension. So it shows that there's multiple confluence zones in target one here for Pepe to actually have at least a short term retracement. But right here is where I'm looking. This 1618 to 175 level is known as the golden zone for the trend based Fibonacci extension. This would be my next price target for Pepe coin actually looking to make over 450% gains on this particular trade. Once we, once we get this solid breakout above this symmetrical triangle, not only we're we gonna look for target one, but we're going to be looking for target two, basically making 5X on your money, which is a really solid trade especially when you use a risk to reward strategy, because it is a lot more volatile, you might need to take somewhere around that 12% stop level. But I like to only risk two to 3% of my account on every trade. So how would you be able to take a 12% stop loss on this particular trade? It basically means you need to really reduce your size. If I'm normally trading with a position size and I allowed a two, that two to 3% stop loss, then I need to reduce my trading size by basically five times. Let's say I'm trading a $50,000 account in the markets, then I would need to reduce my size down to that 10,000 level, not only can I make basically $50,000 on this trade, but I only want to be risking a small percentage of my portfolio on this particular trade. Something like a 12% stop, which would be just below this low, then targeting a 450% profit target. You would know if you plug that into your trader's equation, even if we say this only has maybe a 30 to 40% probability, although I do think it's higher, maybe somewhere around that 60% level, let's even give it a 50-50. Plugging that into your trader's equation would give you a seriously profitable, not only profit factor, because we're not only looking to risk basically 10% for a 500% gain, we also have a decent probability on this trade. Plugging all those numbers into your trader's equation, you'll find that this is going to be an extremely profitable trade over the long run, if you could take this time and time again, if you could take this trade 100 times, you might expect to lose 30 trades, but you expect to win somewhere around that 60 to 70 trades. This is going to be my next target for Pepe coin in 2023. I don't believe this is going to act as a major resistance level, but since we're using this high grade mathematical equation called the trend based Fibonacci, I do expect to at least get up to this price. And again, I don't think it's going to take that long because Look how quick Pepe coin really has these bullish momentums. It's showing us that I think it could only happen in maybe two to three weeks, especially once you get a lot more momentum, a lot more meme coins, you get the founder tweeting a lot and doing a lot of stuff. Then that's when we're going to see this coin actually rocket to the upside. And I don't expect it to act as a major resistance level. We might come down, price might come back, actually retest somewhere in this level before then rocketing up and looking for the next target for Pepe coin. If we now scroll that even further, you can see that this trend based Fibonacci extension tool also gives us some more numbers up here. We got the 423.6 level and the 3618 level. So also using the high grade mathematical tool, which is the Fibonacci trend based extension, it's showing us that this is a definite level that a lot of traders are going to be targeting in the market. There's a lot of trend based Fibonacci extension tool and even retracement tools, a lot of people are using them because they definitely work in the market, especially when we don't have a ton of price action like we've got on Pepe coin. Since Pepe coin was released in April of last month, we don't have a lot of price action to actually go off. And that's where using these trend based Fibonacci extension tools, we're able to find and predict some potential price levels for Pepe coin. So this is going to be my third target in the market. And from our current price, if we look at where we are and we drag it all the way up, to target three, that's over a 1,100% profit potential return on Pepe coin on this particular trade. If I was gonna take this trade, which I am looking at taking, once we get a break above this symmetrical triangle, I'd be looking to potentially put my stop loss in this area. And since the stop loss area is going to be what? Something like a 20, a 30% stop loss means that I really need to reduce my position size basically by 10 times. So not only can I get this third profit target, which does have a really good probability of happening in 2023 the reason being is look at all this price action through here and look how quickly we move to the upside now we've been consolidating in this sideways direction showing that once we're consolidating right here after this massive move it's a high probability move to then continue in the direction of the trend we're basically right now using the 20 exponential moving average 
as a support zone from the bottom side. So I'm looking to get this break above here on this symmetrical triangle. We've then got target one to come to, target two, which will act as a little bit of resistance, but target three will be that more resistance level. I do think once we do get that break up into this level, we will have a bit of a retracement because these levels are being traded by a lot of traders and you need to be thinking, where is the momentum going to be coming from? So we've got some absolutely fantastic levels on Pepe coin right now. Looking at the first level, 260%. Looking at our second target of around 400 to 460% and looking at our third and final target of around 1100 to 1200% on this particular trade. So I'm extremely excited to be trading Pepe coin in the next few days. But really what I am looking for is a break above this symmetrical triangle, which I do expect to happen pretty, pretty soon. The reason being is we're basically at the apex of this triangle right now. And it's looking like we are going to get that continued bullish move to the upside. So once I get that confirmation in the market, it will then signal to me, yes, it's now and now time to take the trade and get into the market. Again, this isn't financial advice and I'm not telling you to take this trade. This is just a trade that I'm going to be taking in the market and I'm happy to be showing all of you. So that's all I have for you in today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed looking at these multiple price targets. Make sure to follow me on Twitter as I'll be giving you quicker updates than I can on YouTube and I'll see you in the next video.